past president, Vishnu, moments ago described me as the man of the moment, but I, I think he really is the man of the moment, having a really successful year in Rotary 2012-2013. Master of Ceremonies, members of the head table, fellow Rotarians, and honored guests. My first function as president would be to officially unveil the theme of our Rotary year 2013-2014. And just as night follows day, and one year precede, is preceded by another, Rotary International President Ron D. Burton has carefully selected these choice words which would become the catalyst of our operation during the Rotary year. So as we move from one theme of peace through service, I invite you all to ring in the new theme with some fanfare, of course. Engage room tree, change lives. As soon as he explains. As so nicely explained by past district governor, Stephen Ramroop, before his departure. By now, these words are music to my ears. But for those of you hearing them for the very first time, it may take some getting used to. And just like a good song, the more you hear it, the sweeter it sounds. After looking at some hair-raising captions presented on the big screen and sharing in the excitement with our fellow awardees. Past presidents, Vishnu's successful year in review would, would only serve to reinforce in your minds that Rotary is indeed a powerful international service organization. I wish to thank my predecessor for his unparalleled sacrifice and heartfelt dedication. In flying high, the Rotary flag, and ultimately making us all very proud. Best wishes to you and your family always, past President Vishnu. A decade ago, I was invited to become a part of the Rotary fraternity, and was subsequently installed as a new member at a gala function similar to this one at UE's JFK Auditorium, Professor. <laughs> this passage of time has certainly served as a getting used to and understanding the Rotary culture and way of life. Community service was by no means a new dimension in my life. As our, our family has a long and diverse history in caring for the lesser fortunate among us. Today, you are empowering me with leadership of this prestige organization. You are entrusting upon me the accumulative legacy envisioned perhaps only by our founding fathers. At the time of our club's charter, I had just entered primary school for the very first time. In a poverty-stricken rural Karani community where barefootedness prevailed over footwear. Somehow, solid friendships, genuine neighborly affection, and honest community support seem to lesser, lessen the burden of the perilous black clouds of uncertainty that towered above. 
thank God for our parents and teachers who serve with distinction, not only as providers and educators, but also as our inspiration pool. I take this opportunity to thank you, my fellow Rotarians, for your unanimous vote of confidence and assure you of my unwavering commitment to our Rotary Club of St. Augustine. As we forge ahead, I wish to re-emphasize the enthusiasm of this president and board of directors in further strengthening our flagship projects. Firstly, our pacemaker bank implant program, we estimate even more patients would become beneficiaries of this life-saving device during Rotary year 2013-2014. Secondly, our regional distribution center, the RDC, the body charged with the responsibility of packaging and shipping pacemakers to far off destination is at this time being restructured in an effort to cope with increasing demand from outsourcing agencies. Thirdly, our medical program, and in this we would continue to expend an insurmountable measure of energy in our underground medical program, ranging from assistance with surgery, eye screening and corrective procedures, the distribution of wheelchairs, walkers, and underarm crutches in, a, in an effort to make mobility more comfortable. Sustainable green projects, widely encouraged by Rotary International. And in this area, we would be rolling off the aquaculture slash vegetable production unit proposed in conjunction with the Ministry of Food Production in quick time. This would be done in neighboring schools and needy, needy communities within our catchment area. Also the collection of unwanted waste at parks and beaches, etc. Would, would form part of our green theme. Alongside this would be a tree planting project consisting both of mixed fruit, fruit cultivation alongside harvestable timber. Resources, resources would also be channeled in the area of child development, for we believe they are indeed our future. Student development at UWI is of paramount importance to us all. all. The university town is where many of us live and work, and it is also the birthplace of our club. Professor Sankat, in your capacity as principal, I know you are aware of the long-standing relationship between the Rotary Club of St. Augustine and the University of the West Indies. <coughs> we liaise constantly with your student services director and more recently with your Dean of the Medical Sciences Faculty. I assure you of our continued commitment to UE and you can expect another handsome contribution in the Rotary year 2013-2014. I also commit to you further, sir, sponsorship from members of this club in their private capacity who continue to support students in the area of housing, meals, educational supplies, clothing, etc. cetera. 
We also recognize there is a growing need for care and support among our aging population and as a result, resources would be made available for the enhancement of this project. Sizable financial con contributions would be forwarded to the Rotary Foundation by way of Paul Harris Fellow contributions and an annual club subvention prim primarily for the purpose of polio eradication disaster relief, farming, etc. We also stand ready and prepared to assist in any local relief efforts such as storms, flooding, or events alike. This pretty much reminds me of our club's swift undertaking during the catastrophic floods of April 2010, where we hurriedly mobilized manpower and essential services and supplies within the Tunapuna, Piaco, and Spring Village areas. My list could continue further, but I'm sure by now you would, have, you would now understand the gravity of our undertaking. All of these programs would of course be funded by our annual fundraiser, namely the Golf for Life tournament, taking place in early September 2013 and our, our mega event, which is the Carnival Fed card for February 2014. So my friends, as I conclude, I beseech you to believe in us, help us in a most resounding way, so as to ensure success and continuity of our programs. So whether we are doing a double chamber pacemaker implant at Mount Hope, of forwarding pacemaker devices to Guatemala or the Philippines, or merely making a difference on the ground locally, our focus remains people-centered. Once our objectives are met, we will have most especially engaged Rotary, and in the process, change many lives. I wish to take this opportunity to thank you all and to make mention of the board of, board of directors that would serve during the Rotary year 2013-2014. Myself, Rajin Sukhai at the helm. Uh, we have Maria Mohammed Maharaj as secretary. Dietrich Schuller, Treasurer, Anand Rampasad, Vice President. Uh, service Directors would include Past President Indar Ramnath, Gary Williams, Past President Deo Singh, Balraj Kelly, Shiva Gobin, Sergeant at Arms, Crystal R. Maharaj. Also on the board of directors would be the immediate past president, Vishnu Balrup. We count on your stewardship and your experience. And our president-elect, Dolores Pusajutram. I thank you all.